We have got an epic battle going on between a pirate fly and a drop tail ant who's carrying the larvae from one nest to another. Look at that, look at that. That fly busy trying to grab the larvae away from these ants. Here's another one here. So we've got another one coming through your way. So what's happening is these ants are moving from one, one side to another and these pirate flies are trying to steal the baby ants. But because they're ants and these drop tail ants have got quite a vicious sting, these flies are actually being super cautious. I've watched these flies throw caution to the wind with termites time and time again. But with these ants, you can just see them. Here's another one coming here. So let's just pr watch the, 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 the larvae. It's going to be, a, there we go, here comes the fly in. But the fly's careful, didn't want to. There were too many ants around at that time. Wasn't opportunity enough. It is just insane. These flies, we've, I've only actually just noticed them this year in actual fact. It just The grass cover was low enough for us to see these pirate flies for the first time in years. And it's just been amazing to watch how they parasitize termites and ant colonies. They generally grab the, la there we go, there we go. Yeah, he almost got tackled from the back. Now what happens is as soon as that ant realizes it's under attack, it sprays out a pheromone which drives the ants in the nearby vicinity into an attack frenzy. So that fly can't actually afford to be stung by these ants. It will, it will kill it. And so it comes in, makes a go at a piece of, at a larvae. And as soon as it realizes it, it doesn't have the edge, it flies away. Attack again another day. Now these flies, what they will do is they usually just attach to the abdomen of their prey, suck it dry from the back, usually leaving it alive. Live. There we go, there we go, here we go. Oh, no, too many ants. These ants have definitely got the upper hand so far in that they are carrying one larvae at a time and it's usually just one individual surrounded by 20 or 30 others. And so it doesn't, they don't overwhelm the ability here, we've got another one coming through here. So it's coming out onto this open plain, which of course is where the flies have the advantage. So let's see if it can cross this open area without attracting too much attention. Nope, the fly's there. There we go, and it's alone. The fly doesn't have, the ant doesn't have any. <laughs> yes, that's cool. So that ant definitely, there were three or four ants that came immediately to its rescue. And that ant is now, there we go, he's now attracted the attention of a younger fly. But that young fly is, is not working on the center of the open patch. He's working on the fringes, which makes maneuvering for that fly very difficult. So obviously the bigger flies are, the bigger flies are, um, are controlling the best areas and leaving the younger flies the periphery, which makes sense. And only if you are big and you are able to defend your patch can you go and hunt there so let's see now now this young fly is back in the center again we've got another three larvae coming through here so three let's see if that will work if one so coming straight at the fly here we go fly attack the first one no help no helps around flies got it yes got it he just needs to be able to get a group good grip and he'll actually take off carrying the larvae and the fly let's see let's see here we go and he grabbed it, couldn't quite get it. No, being overwhelmed. So these ants, this strategy works. There, he's got it, he's got it. Ah, and the ant almost stung the fly in the face. Here's another two or three larvae coming through. Eventually they will get one. So what the fly will try and do is grab the larvae and then pick it up and fly away from the ant colony, giving it a chance to suck that abdomen dry. Very, very, very cool.